Okay, let's start with tile maps. Let's add yeah, L E M in tile maps. So tile maps. We can add new tile set. Yes, tile set. So for this one, we'll be using from this map. Uh, this is spreadsheet. Okay, so every every image in this spreadsheet, every instance every tile is 70 by 70 so let's configure it here size is 70 by 70 okay now yeah from the Kenny the PNG grants and spreadsheet once we click the tile map or we can see these two options available let's get to tile map and drag it here and drop it okay and let's click OK now we can see that we have these tiles available okay uh, so let's start building our game building the tiles so what we can do is go move to the tile map select the tile we want to use uh, which one the one okay this has the A's in the left and opening so something like this and uh, with the one this one is the middle one middle tile and the uh, with the closing tile i think this is the closing tile okay okay if we and the second here is it okay so we have built the tile now uh let's extend it further this one Okay. Let's complete it here. Mm, this one here and this one here. I think we can select and duplicate as well. CP. CP. Okay, now we make the tiles. We can take it. Yeah, the tiles. Okay, let's introduce our player here. To introduce a player, let's add a animated sprite. Okay, A and I am A T A T. Why? Why animated sprite? Not just a normal sprite because animated sprite will allow us to have kind of animate uh, so frame animations okay so let's select frame animation and the default one what I like to choose is the layer from here PNG layers let's choose the same size not the variable one and the green one okay so for the default case what I like to show is his uh, standing one and another one is Yeah, this front one and in standing one I want to kind of uh, so frame animation so something like yeah, if the player is breathing uh, whatever okay so let's say idle ID -E, idle animation so this should be auto this should be uh, looped and then from here PNG player same size and green one so i want the standing one as well as the front one okay so, okay so if you can see here uh, what it will do is ah uh, okay it's animated is right now we can use different image we can animate them okay something like yeah it's, it's too fast but okay yeah I'll accept it so let's kind of drop it here and 
see it. Okay, yeah, it's it looks good. It looks good for me, but it's doing too fast. Two, three. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, two looks good to me. So yeah, this will be the player. I guess. Okay, there's something called character body. Okay, there is physics body. There are static, kinematic, and character body. Okay, static body. Yeah, I will make our player a uh, character body. So let's. Okay, so let's divide the game in different scenes. Okay, let's save it as save it as scene. In the scene, let's introduce. Let's call it character. Okay. Add it there. Okay. So here, I like to add character body two D, and let's make it a uh, root, 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 root. Make scene root. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And let's make it player. Is this one? No, 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 collision shape. Okay, yeah, it will need a collision. Let's bring back this object to the origin. Something like probably on the top as well. So, something like this. Okay, let's add a collision 2D. Okay, so uh, what collision does it it allow the object the player to have some kind of uh, boundary or area to represent yourself okay to detect its movement with other players that kind of thing okay so let's simply we, with with alt you can kind of expand in different different senior okay different direction okay uh, with similar proportion let's move it control z yeah and most of the objects player are either rectangle or what's another that is cylindrical cylindrical okay so that that define based on the type of the player you want for me i simply want uh, it to be a rectangular one so And let's keep it a rectangle. Mm. Yeah, okay. This is just not much, not high. That kind of thing looks good. Now, if we take this one and play, what it will have? Okay, nothing. I think so far okay in the player we can add a script okay there is a script already a script template that's for basic movement looks good so let's add that and yeah we'll we'll go into detail of this but what it simply does it uh, it check for left and right click the left and right arrow on the keyboard and this ui accept is space so yeah if we move it will move the character in that direction okay now let's simply play the label and also as you can see there is this gravity being applied okay so if the player is not on floor it will constantly aid in the velocity y so it will fall only it will start to fall okay play play the label yeah it is start to fall okay yeah we make the kind of player in some state and if i press something uh, we can move it as well okay so that's that's already great start so what i want now is i want it is to stick in this platform okay so to do that what we have to do is in the tile map in the tile set there is this physics layer let's add the physics layer okay and and there is something uh, called collision layer and collision mask okay we have we'll talk about it in detail in future but for now 
collision layer layer the this layer is where this particular element be in the in the layer okay so let's say we can edit name layer one be environment e n b i r e n b i r o n m e n t okay and level two let's player be in the that and level three items it means it's like pickups and stuffs okay so uh this layer will be on the environment layer and collision marks it uh, uh defining something like what element do you want uh, this layer to interact with okay so we want this this layer this ground to interact with players not with ground okay so that's how we define it and the thing now once we add the physical layer here what we can do is in the tile set in the i'm not sure but yeah in the paint option we can define properties okay in the physical layer uh, so what i want to do is uh, we, ha we have used these four tiles right uh, this one this one and this one so okay so i simply add a physical layer to these tiles so what what will happen now is when we play our game the player will player must stick on that layer okay let's hope he will stick okay yeah now it does looks good right now the player is in the ground and i'll go into more detail on this later but since we are already here let's talk about it all these we have uh, there is collision in the pool full of pool pool tile for these maps okay but for, for this one there is only collision in the half part okay so what we can do is we can edit this like this okay okay only collide for this part nothing more than that something like that okay and we edit and click here something like that and there are other also this one which half yeah this one this one yeah we have, we have added collision of different shape okay now put this one uh, uh it's kind of different a bit different right so we simply okay but uh, yeah right clicking we can drag it and with with the left click yeah with left click we can drag it and with the right click you can remove it and now uh, it's kind of this one okay so I apply this for that it's yeah something yeah we, we, we will do it for every every of these cells okay like for all these ones I will add default one yeah okay for this one as well this 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 Pull, 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 pull. Mm, mm, mm. And pull these one. We have to manually work on them. Okay. But now let it be, and I'll do those manually edit myself. You you have to do it yourself as well. Okay. Now we have our player, and yeah, the player is moving as well. Uh, let's add a camera camera to our player so the camera will follow the players okay player add camera 2d the label zero if we start it now yeah as you can see it will follow the player okay and the jump, jump force is not that high so we cannot jump in that layer let's increase that as well Mm, jump velocity let's move it to pipe let's see if that will work i think it will not not that great as well let's keep it to six it will work past here this time yeah here we are okay looks good so and uh, okay there, there are some configuration we can do in the camera okay so like 
uh, boundaries, limits, that kind of thing, smoothness. As you can see, so currently whenever we kind of move, the camera will simply move move around instantly, right? So it, it may be better to have some kind of limits. Okay, let let have buffer area for this player. So since if the player move in this area, let's not move that camera, something like that, okay? This uh, position is smoothing and this we can simply enable these things. So if we take it now, what will happen is, okay, we can move uh, from here to here without any camera movement okay so this kind of it's kind of feel a bit easy for the eyes and looks good okay looks good to me so yeah i'll, I'll go on app uh, individual de detail for tile for player uh, later okay okay for now uh, i was talking about some kind of parallax effect okay so let's take that I think it's already oh the video is already too long but no reach okay let's give it a try from here let's add yeah right parallax background okay let's add parallax background mm, as a child parallax layer Parallax layer. Okay, so I'd like to have a ground a cloud and mountain. Okay, keep okay, the cloud. Let's add. Mm -hmm. We have this asset background background element okay we have this cloud layer as well as this mountains layer okay we'll use these two for now and when i talk about details of parallax we can use more okay so from background background element cloud layer okay let's move it in, in the perfect size of the camera mm, okay looks good let's delete it for now and duplicate it and mountain mountain but this one let's replace it with mountains okay i like to move it a bit down for this one okay so for now if we simply play the game there there won't be any any effect mm -hmm. i think we need to have this um different layer okay no risk for now i'll i'll check it later but yeah motion and yeah in the there is option called mirroring okay when do we want to mirror this object okay so we will mirror it in the length okay in its length like it is 1024 by 400 400 is the white 1024 is the height uh, okay 400 is the height 1024 is the white so we'll mirror in 1024 0 2 4 mm. okay yeah as, as you can see it's got mirror similarly to this one 1024 okay and to do to do, do, do let's move further down okay if we play now well, we, we kind of see the background moving along with us and as you can see 
the background just simply get this added right sure but but there is some some box okay like instant there is some instant it get added instantly right but it should be smooth so the, the reason is that our camera is a bit wider than the size of the image okay it's 1024 but our game currently we are in our size of the game is like a bit larger than that window it's like 1152 right so it's a bit large now one option is to reduce it to 1024 if we do so uh, we, we we won't see that that jump effect and uh, it will it will look smart okay uh, for now yeah we can do that and another solution if we if you don't want to change that is uh, we can kind of zoom zoom in the player the camera okay like uh, 1.1.1.1 yeah some, something like that will do the job as well and let's reset it mm, give it a try yeah a bit more okay 1.5 okay yeah that's that's um, what we have to do okay uh, you have to make the background layer um, perfectly matching should be more than wider than the camera okay so we'll have to do that but for now that it be okay so we we mentioned about parallax but what's that effect uh, we'll I still have to make that so we want this cloud to move a bit slower okay let's move it in 1.5 speed and we want the mountains to move it a bit faster okay like 0.8 something like that okay now we can see that parallax effect okay okay as you can see the mountains are moving a lot faster than the cloud right yeah that's 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 what the parallax effect we are looking for okay uh it is this um, dark gray line okay i like i would like to change that with some color project i'm not sure what it is but it should be somewhere um, okay color rendering okay default color i'd like to have something like uh bluish uh, that is sky color okay I'm, I'm not good on color choice but yeah uh, i'll probably choose whatever the color is from this one open with okay Kimp and color picker and this one as this is the code color code yeah mm, project product setting default color i want this one okay yeah something like this now we can we can kind of feel like we are in the there's the sky in the background and is that we are playing okay also uh, i like the uh, player to have some kind of bandwidth limit okay okay let's uh, this camera should be based on label uh, we can uh, we, we we need to have different um, i mean different configuration based on our labels like this limit kind of thing right so we'll add that in the left let's limit it to zero in the bottom i'm not sure but somewhere here 600 a more a bit more 650 now up 630 
something like that okay so if we can do that what will it will do is yeah this will be stuck in this this path okay yeah you uh, that's that's the three thing I talk about I'll work a bit more on the parallax and a bit more on the tile and a bit more on the player next time okay yeah that's it